Dr. Mahadevan, practicing uh, medical practitioner. Day before yesterday, I attended uh, Mr. Abdur Rahim Green's uh, lecture. There was a question posed to him uh, by a medical student. She asked about uh, a paradise. Those who practice Islam go to pa paradise and the rest of the people go to the, uh, hell. Is it uh, the answer given by Mr. Abdur Rahim Green was not convincing? Can you please explain? Thank you. Brother, the question somebody asked Brother Abdul Rahim Green that those who practice Islam will go to paradise, those who don't practice Islam will go to hell. The answer wasn't convincing. I was in there. I'm sure Brother Abdul Rahim Green may have given a very convincing reply. Maybe you didn't understand certain of his points. I know him. He's a very good speaker, mashallah. But regarding the reply that will Muslim go to Jannah and non-Muslim go to hell, Brother, the requirement to go to Jannah is given in Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. It says, well, us, by the token of time, man is very in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who have righteous deed, those who exhort people to truth, that is to dawa, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. The requirement for any human being to go to Jannah is four things. Iman, faith, what I discussed pillars of Iman, righteous deed, Exhorting people to truth and exhorting people to patience and perseverance. If any one of these four is missing, under normal circumstances, you shall not go to Jannah. Only by calling yourself Abdullah, Muhammad, Sultan, Zakir will not take you to Jannah. Just by saying, I am a Muslim, you don't go to Jannah. I said in my talk, Allah says in Surah Ankabut, chapter 29, verse number 2, just by saying you believe, just by saying I am a Mumin, I am a Muslim, do you think you'll go to Jannah? Allah will surely test you. So just by saying I am a Muslim, you will not go to Jannah. A person who practices Islam. Islam comes from the root word salam, which means peace. It also means submitting a will to God. A person who submits a will to God is called a Muslim. So a person who follows the religion or submitting his will to Almighty God is a Muslim. So anyone who submits a will to Almighty God, whatever his name may be, he will go to Jannah. So criteria to go to Jannah is having Iman. In all the pillars I mentioned, Almighty God is there. We have messengers about the year after, about his books etc. Doing righteous deed and submitting a will to Almighty God. If you submit a will to Almighty God, in Arabic it is called as religion of Islam. But it doesn't mean that if you live in Pakistan or live in Saudi Arabia, you go to Jannah. No. All the people in Saudi Arabia, all in Pakistan, Allah, Allah, Allah alone knows whether they go to Jannah or not. The person who go to paradise, brother, is one who obeys the commandment of Almighty God. The person who obeys the commandment of Almighty God, and I discussed many in my talk, if you obey these commandments of Almighty God, just by name, calling yourself Muslim or Muhammad or Abdullah, that will not take you to Jannah. It is not compulsory to change your name. The name, Green, is not a Muslim name. So that doesn't mean you won't go to Jannah. We prayed to him that made the brother, inshallah, no, he has reverted. He was a Christian. So the name will not take you to Jannah, your deeds will take you. Believing your deeds, Exhorting people to truth and exhorting people to patience and perseverance. If your deeds are right, if your iman is right, and you exhort people to truth and patience and perseverance, inshallah, any human being, he shall go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question.